Okay, so this is the purging video. So this is for those of you who will be handling liquids. While you're handling a liquid, your circulation should be off. When you push it off, you hear this beautiful noise. It just, just shuts off, right? So now that means that the air is stagnant and is not circulating around in here anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and put the box light on just because you, know, you can't see my reflection as well. <clears throat> so there's one important thing to know, one trick to know when you're using or when you're purging this glove box. When you hit end, it brings you back to this menu and you're at the main screen menu. You can press on this blue box and it allows you to alter the pressure levels. Okay, we, you always have the box resting at five max, right, this is the maximum, and 2.5 minimum. This is what we use when you're handling on the glove box. However, when you are uh, gonna be purging, you want to set this to 10 maximum and you can leave it at 2.5, but you can also set it to, uh, actually, no, no, we're gonna set it to five. Five minimum. Now you can hear it's pushing more argon in there. So it's important that we shut off, shut off the circulation um, under the functions menu. Circulation is off, vacuum pump is off, box light could be on, and these two can be on. So I'm just gonna stay here, make sure we got this, 10 and five, perfect, hit end. And now we see this box and it shows you what the pressures are and what everything is, okay? To purge, we have a manual purge. All you're simply gonna do is use this lever and as you open it slowly, you can hear it start to pull argon. Now you want this pressure to read 2.5 to three. So I am slowly, slowly opening this. I'm gonna see we're about 2.5 right now. And it's up the whole way. So you wanna let this purge for about 10 minutes. It is gonna chew through argon, so you wanna make sure that we're doing this quick. It will get very cold to the touch here to collect ice. It should get cold to the touch up here as well and up there. Um, but after 10 minutes, all you're gonna do is grab the lever, right? Get a step stool if you don't need, if you need one, I don't. And you're gonna slowly pull it down so it's orthogonal to the outlet, okay? That helps to flush the systems. You can see the oxygen was 1.2. Now it's less than half a PPM. It's because we just flushed out any air that was in there with argon. Again, you're gonna do this for 10 minutes, but I'm just doing a demonstration. When you are done with that, please, for the love of all that is holy, uh, you're gonna to wanna to then turn on circulation, turn on vacuum pump, alter this, and you're gonna bring this to a maximum of five and a minimum of 2.5. So you wanna alter the minimum first because otherwise it's gonna not allow you to change this. And this becomes uh, five, okay? So we're at five and 2.5 where we like to sit. One more t uh, pro tip here uh, before I turn off the vacuum pump. I'm gonna take the pressure. It's at 4.5. That means if I turn off the vacuum pump like this, um, somebody walks by here and just says, oh, cool, a box. It's gonna turn on the vacuum pump really, really quickly, right? So here's a little trick that I do. We're gonna leave the vacuum pump on, we're gonna leave everything on. We're at four. I'm gonna step on the left pedal, just for like a second like this, okay? And you can see we're now at 3.8, 3.6. I'm gonna go down to, to 2.9, there we go, around three. Because this creates more of a buffer that if someone pumps into, bumps into this, it's not gonna turn on the vacuum, okay? We don't want the vacuum pump running unless when we're using it. So now I'm gonna turn off the vacuum pump. We're gonna turn off the box light. We're gonna leave circulation on. Again, circulation only turn, is turned off when you are handling a liquid inside of the glove box. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If there's any questions, shoot me an email. Unless I'm not here anymore. If you're a future student watching this, good luck. I'm just kidding, you can still reach out to me. I, I don't mind. <laughs>